Colorado sweeps Utah in Boulder, a 3-0 wipeout as the Buffs offense rolls. Outside hitters finishing at 464, Leah Clayton. And this person, you hit 500. <laughs> Are you an outside hitter? I mean, I thought so, but <laughs> maybe not. <laughs> that, I mean, against Utah, you know, against any Pac-12 team and anybody, 500, 13 kills, 24 attacks. Maya Tabron, <laughs> congratulations on the win. Thank you so much. <laughs> um, I don't know how to explain what just happened. Why don't you take a <laughs> shot at it? Um, I mean, we just, we worked. We came out with a lot of pressure on them. We shut down Danny Drews, got her hitting out, made her make errors, served tough on them. And I mean, we just played as a team. Every time we kind of had a little bit of a slump, we just came together and said, hey, next ball, we're gonna slide out. We're gonna get this next point. And we just came together so well. And Jesse and our coaches led us perfectly with all our block calls and everything. And we just, we just did it. We just had fun <laughs> and did it. <laughs> you were on the road a couple nights ago. Uh, and it went the other direction, you know, exactly mathematically the other direction with yep. Washington State. <laughs> That's a tough week, Wednesday, Friday. You come home. I didn't see, uh, obviously, we didn't see any hangover from what happened Wednesday. <laughs> uh, but, you know, the Pac-12, I talked about this during the match. This is just what the Pac-12 is. And you turn around, Utah just beat Washington yep. on Wednesday night. You have to be excited about what's in front of you all. Yeah, definitely excited. I mean, of course, we were a little bit sad about the Washington State loss, but they're a good team. It was a tough gym to play in and everything, but we kind of came back into practice the next day and said, hey, that's in the past. We're going to move on. We got Utah now. We're at home. We got the band here. We got all these great fans and everything, and we just came out and played and kind of ready to move on for our next games. Yeah, speaking of the band, right before we started this interview, the team goes over and does the little alma mater with the band. And yeah. it looked, Brenna, I don't think Brenna was crying, but it almost <laughs> looked like, she, I mean, that everybody, that's a pretty fun moment. And it's cool to have fans back in the building and yes. you got the band pumping and you got a you know ranked team who's phenomenal in here. I, I would hope that you can at least take a second, like even though you're in the moment and you, we got to compete again next week and all that. Yeah. <laughs> I hope you're really having a good time with us tonight. Yeah, it was a great time. I mean, especially since my freshman year, it was like COVID and everything. We didn't really have fans. We didn't get the band and everything. So it's just such a cool experience having everybody cheering us on, kind of booing the other team. It was a little <laughs> bit nice to see, um, especially the band. They just bring the energy up so much. So yeah, definitely a great experience. I'm glad that I finally got to like experience it actual home game so yeah and i'm going to pepper you with two more things here real quick one okay. is jenna ewert 32 assists for jenna mm -hmm. uh, you know jill schneggenberger playing on the right side she picks up six kills you've got two outsides hitting you know 464 and 500 jenna ewert's just got to be a blast to get on the court with yeah she really is i mean coming into my freshman year i was a little bit intimidated of her but i knew just as soon as i like met her off the court that she was just going to be a great teammate to play with great setter Definitely runs the court, brings us back together when we need to. Um, so definitely a great like leader that I look up to. Now, the final thought, you get a week off. It's kind of <laughs> abnormal in conference play because you played Wednesday, Friday this week. You go to the Oregon schools uh, next week and, or I'm sorry, you host them next yes, week. Yes, yes, So host. you get Oregon <laughs> here in a week and Oregon State. So you got this whole week. What, what, what are you all going to do with yourselves? <laughs> well, we get the next two days off. It's actually one of our teammates' birthdays, Kelly. Um, so we're going to celebrate with her a little bit. Definitely get a really good rest. This week was really stressful. Hopefully get ahead on some homework so we can kind of chill next week. And we're just going to have to come into the gym on Monday and just kind of hold this win on our shoulders but still be ready to play the next ones and still be ready to get pressured, especially from Oregon, um, and just come out and do as good as we can against them and just work together as a team like we did this game. Well, enjoy a couple days rest and the birthday celebration. Yeah. <laughs> Maya Tabron, 13 kills tonight. Congratulations on the sweep. That was fun to watch. Thank you so much. <laughs> Buffs win at 3-0 over Utah.